Hello, everyone. This is Johnny. We're going to continue our CyberArk version 11 PAS installation and configuration lab. In our previous labs, we already installed our vault, which is IP 192.168.2.21. We installed our PVWA CPM 192.168.2.23. Today, we are going to work on our PSM. 192.168.2.25. This is our vault. This is our PVWA CPM server. This is our new server, PSM. I already copied the all installation files on the Privilege Session Manager folder. There are standard four steps to install the components in PAS. Prerequisite step, which is pre-installation step, Second step is installation. Third step, post installation. The fourth step, hardening and the registration. That's for PSM. Let's start with our step one, pre-installation steps. There's the installation automation folder and there's a prerequisite folder on the left. You can see all scripts are here. For PSM installation, the installation is not that straightforward. You always need to change some settings in those scripts. The first script we're going to change is prerequisite config.xml. So this one, you can open it with notepad. You need to change these settings to yes. Save. There's no permission. You need administrator permission to do that. Let's go from command line. Run as administrator for your command line window. Change this setting from no to yes. Now you should be able to see. Once you made a change, you need to set execution policy to bypass. You do it from PowerShell. Now we can run our installation. Execute stage.ps1 with file we just changed. It's gonna take a while. I'm gonna pause video recording and come back once it's done. You need a reboot. Now the PSM should come back now. There are several scripts gonna be run. There's four steps. After you logged in, the installation, the prerequisite script running will continue. I will pause the recording, wait it finished. Okay, the prerequisite steps completed successfully. You can close this one. The system gonna be logged in automatically. The final step before we can start our installation is to assign a proper rate domain group access to the session collection. Let's open server manager. Remote desktop service, collections, PSN remote app. Properties, we're gonna edit properties. Use a user group. 
gonna add uh, all the means. By default, after you finished your prerequisite steps, domain users should be in there already. Now we just add a cyber arc of all that means. But we need to remove this one. We don't want the domain users to be logging here. So let's all steps for pre-installation for PSM. Now we start PSM installation. Go to the PSM installation folder. Right click setup, run as administrator. Yes. There's a Microsoft Visual C++ buildable packages. That's our PVWA config safe name. By default is PVWA config. So we don't have to change anything here. Now we can register our PSM to the vault. Our vault IP 192.168.2.21. Port is default CyberArc port 1858. Next. PVWA through which Yes, and connect to the API. We can configure it later. We can leave this host field blank. API gateway IP was not specified. Yes, we will configure it separately. System is back online again after the put. So we're gonna do post installation. There are a couple of steps to do in post installation. First step is verification. You want to verify the install. Um, so you need to check the installation log. It will find it in a Windows temp folder. Is a PSM install log file. You can quickly browse it and it, until you see complete all installation steps. And then you have verification, you have hardening to do. So PSM hardening is different from other components. So I'm gonna put into separate video to do that. It's more complicated than other components. Um, so we're gonna start it with our verification and log into PVWA. So to do testing and verification. You can try to use Vault Admin. Mountain admin has defined in our DC server. Well, that means zero one. It belongs to group. 
outside back, what that means. So that's why we use involved admin zero one login. We can do configuration here. Now, the first step we need to go to policies to enable PSM from an asked policy. Session manager required PSM privilege session monitoring and isolation. You can enable that. Then we go to administration configuration options. There's a PSM section here. See the PSM server has been defined. We can verify that. Then we go to PSM UI. Make sure connect PSM with RDP ActiveX set to never. By default, it's already level so. Now we can onboard our account. The first thing we're going to onboard is our AD administrator account. Before we do that, for onboarding accounts, you need to have platform to be ready. We need to onboard our AD account. So let me find out Windows domain account. Duplicate this one. Give a valid name. Save and close. That will save all your Windows domain accounts for this platform. Your, all your Windows domain account will use this platform. Second thing we need to do is create a save. We're going to create a save for Vault Admin 01. And you can, if you have multiple CPM, you can assign the safe to the specific CPM here. You can see what other building groups or members can access this safe. You can see batch can have access to this safe by default, master. Well, that means zero one is greater. We also can add admin group, cyberarc well, that admin group to this account to have access to this domain, domain admin safe. That's the one we just added. So we have safe, we have platform. Now we can create account to do testing. So we're gonna create a Windows account. We're gonna create a Windows domain account. And you're gonna use in the save for what that mean. So adjust, we're gonna use in 51 sec test account. That's our domain address. Type the password and then you can click resolve. Can click add. So now we have domain administrator account added into our CyberArk for Vault Admin 01 safe. Now we can start to do the connection. So here's the reason test. 
and the remote machine. I'm gonna put uh, any machine in the domain. We can put the IP here and connect into. The RDP file gonna be generated and automatically downloaded to your machine. Only thing you need to do is just click to it. Click connect. So from your machine, they're gonna launch the session to PSM server 192.168.2.25. And there's another session gonna be created from 192.168.2.25 to remote destination. That is a common mistake, usually caused by, um, usually caused by a settings in PSN, remote settings. So you need to make sure there's a no check on these settings, allow connection only from computers running remote desktop with NLA. And uh, in your destination, you also want to make sure this is our destination. If that is happening, you also want to make sure system. This setting is unchecked. Once you uncheck last setting, you can come back here, connect, test. It's working perfectly. So just remember there's lots of settings relating to Remote desktop settings allow connection only from computers running remote desktop with NLA. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you for watching.